Hey, how you doing? This is Lee Gerstmann, and I have a record review for you. I decided that I would be reviewing an album by a group called Rainbow. Rainbow had Richie Blackmore, who was in Deep Purple, and I never really heard a lot of Rainbow's music. I don't even think I had any of their albums. Maybe I had... Uh, Straight Between the Eyes, or Right Between the Eyes, I forget the name of it. But I'm not sure if I had that one. But I heard some of their songs on MTV, and I liked some of what I heard. And I heard a few songs here and there on the radio, but this is one of the first times that I actually heard a whole album of theirs, so I decided to listen and then give my review on it. So here is my thoughts. The first song, Stranded. This sounds like aerobicized metal, and I'm not saying that in a good way. They should have kicked Harold Faltermeyer out of the studio. There's little moments on the song I like, but not enough to satisfy this finicky bitch. And then Can't Let You Go. Now this is a good song, and I wish I could have co-written it. It's popish, but this type of pop I dig. And then Fool for the Night. It's like a white snake ballad on 78 RPM. I am not a fan of this. And then Fire Dance. This sounds like me on keyboards here. It's a cool song, but totally not like what I expected of them. And then Anybody There. This is cool. It's like an even slower Robin Trower song, which is hard to do, but they do it, and well. And then Desperate Heart, I like this a lot. Oh my god, I hope that doesn't mean I'm gay. It's totally 80s synth pop, but in the best way. And then Street of Dreams. This is an okay song. I could imagine it as the theme to a weird sci-fi romance flick. And then Drinking with the Devil. This reminds me of Deep Purple's Highway Star. It's really good, but just a hint of an imitation which almost takes away from its charm. And then Snowman. This is like Tangerine Dream. Very interesting and very much not like what I expected to hear on this album. And then the last song, Make Your Move. It's okay. I can groove to it. So, I will say that when it comes to this album, I was thinking it might be more of a guitar-oriented album. There are guitar parts on it, but it has a lot of keyboard parts, which... I don't mind, and musically, it's an not bad album. It's it's pretty alright, but it's just not what I would have expected of Rainbow. So if you're looking for a more heavy sound of Rainbow, you might not want this. But if you don't care, if you just want good music and you're able to put aside the idea that Rainbow did it and just think of it as an interesting kind of 80s pop sounding thing, I think you'd enjoy it a bit. So anyway, that's been my review. Take care, everyone.